Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, we're gonna be doing something a little different, which is why you're so close up to my face. Um, so I've got my base makeup on right now. There's like foundation, blush, bronzer, etc. I don't have beauty lights, so it's probably not picking up like the craziest best. I'm really shiny on that side of my face. But um, we got this for Ariel Month, and I think it's absolutely adorable. And Ariel Month is technically over today, but I wanted to get this done, and I've just been busy at work and with the holidays, and ew, I sound like an actual YouTuber making up excuses. Anyway, we're gonna put on this, and these are like the colors we're working with today. And they're all crazy and I'm not a makeup artist so it's gonna be a disaster and it's gonna be fun and this just is gonna be a fun video but I did moisturize and prime my face with this little sheet mask from Hot Topic it was five dollars something like that and it was cute it's just a cute little mask I should have probably taken like some video of when I had it on and looked super crazy but it's all good. We have the Ariel ColourPop Premier Designer Collection from Disney and it kind of like inspired the whole thing and then I saw that e.l.f. Ariel palette existed. There's this really nice Ariel theme palette that was like in Sephora like five or six years ago and it is so cool but it also is like the cheapest one I could find it was like $90 and I think it was like dipped into and swatched or something and I was like no I'm good but <clears throat> we're probably going to be using those lip colors I don't know about that green eyeshadow I don't I don't think that's my speed but you know maybe we'll see how the look goes these little dingle hopper brushes from Hot Topic were super cute and they're heavy too they're like real metal and everything and I don't know how good they'll work but we'll give them a shot another Ariel beauty product because apparently I'm a guru now just no, I'm just kidding there's no way not with this face um I got the wet and wild or the wet brush with the 30th anniversary sticker on it and I needed a new brush anyway so I wanted to get this one but let's take this out of the box and brush through my hair a little bit see if we can get some of that like excess product out yeah, I mean, it's no dingle hopper, but it's definitely brushing out some of that product, making my hair look a little softer, but it's still like flexible. Except for, there we go, that one part. And that is the wet brush from Ariel Collab. Oh, should I do it like an actual like beauty YouTuber? Like, <laughs> my eyes are primed with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I'll do that too. Mm. Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. For this palette, why don't we dip into this color, Coral Reef, and kind of like place it down all over my eyes to lay down a nice base, and then we'll start getting some of these more fun colors in. All right, and I'm going to use this Morphe by Jeffree Star JS11 brush. It's a flatter brush to kind of put down that coral reef shade, dip into the pan here, tap off the excess. My Jeffree Star mirror. Oh, okay. There's definitely some pigment there. It's laying down. Um, not a ton though, but I mean, it's e.l.f. Like, if there's anything I've seen. So, okay, so one thing you guys, I probably haven't told you yet, is that um, on my channel, when I cut from like a boxed product to an unboxed product, and it's like a lot of product that I have to pull out, take all the twisties, pull the head springs out, etc. Um, I'm usually watching like Tati Westbrook or Jeffree Star videos while I'm doing that. And that's like, if there, if I pick up anything about makeup, it's purely through like 
osmosis because I don't actually do it. I just like watching them. I like the drama. I like the makeup. I like the looks. I like the idea of like enhancing your natural beauty and just being like very pretty. I'm gonna lay down this side and then I will be right back. Okay, I put a little ring light in front of my camera so hopefully that helps a little bit. You can't really see the color but it's there. It's like a sandy yellow. But I mean, we're just putting it down as a base color. So why don't we... Okay, we're going to take this JS9 kind of fluffier crease brush and we're going to dip into this shade, this blue shade, Brilliant C. And we're gonna work it through the crease. Holy crap. <clears throat> well, at least there's pigment because that was like one swipe. Okay, so clearly I did not put that on clean um, because that blue got literally everywhere and I'm trying to keep it in my crease. So I'm gonna clean up like these little spots and then we will go ahead and put on some other colors. All right, guys, I cleaned that up a little bit more. As you can see, it's a little less everywhere now. So let's continue on with the look. I'm going to take this color right here called Seashell and kind of pop it up here to kind of blend out some of this blue and make it a little less harsh. All right guys, hopefully that looks a little less harsh and softened out, etc. That blue is like really there though. And that's okay, I like it. I look a lot less crazy in blue than I have when I've tried blues on in the past. So, yeah. And you know what? Okay. Why don't we use that green ColourPop color? So we're gonna use this green ColourPop color called Under the Sea, of course. And we're gonna kinda, so it's like a green shimmery metallic. I'm thinking we can probably bring it inside up here. That's crazy. I just dipped into that with this JS13 brush with Morphe collab. And look at that, it's like a creamy, it's not even like powdery, it's like a creamy metallic. So that'll probably go on really well because it's already wet. Oh yeah, it does. Holy crap. And so if you guys can kind of see that like wet metallic-y color, it's like crazy. We'll put it on the other side of my face that has more light shining on it. There we go. Can you guys see that, that green? And the color, yeah, that's crazy. Well, I'm glad we used some of that color pop because that is like freaking nuts. I wish I had beauty lighting so you guys could see it like w way better. But I love that, that looks crazy. Ooh, I love it. Okay. All right. We're gonna try the bullet brush from the Dingle Hopper Hot Topic collection. And it says gadgets and gizmos engraved in it and it's really heavy it's made of metal and i like this brush so we're gonna dip into this lighter blue tropical wave color and we're gonna pop it in my lower lash line okay wow that is like a really pretty blue i kind of look like the gay thing from the swamp but you know it looks cool i like it it's like I got a blue goggle going on. And then with this JS5 brush, we're going to dip into this purple color. Oh, which is called seashell. This is seashell. That brownish coppery color above it that I put on me is called For Shore. Like shore, like shoreline. But this purple, we're gonna pop a tiny little bit out here. And then that should be it. So there's just like, there we go. So there's just like the tiniest little bit of purple out here. 
and then it just kind of blends into the like coppery sandy colors that are up here and that's my crazy gay man from the swamp i look look at that not under the sea but i'm definitely under the swamp and i look fabulous um let's go ahead and put on the lipstick and lip gloss that came in the aerial designer collaboration kit it's like this kind of nudie color and then the lipstick's also really nude which i feel comfortable with because doing like a bold lip vampy red lip anything like that does not look the best on me so i will let's put those on you can see that lipstick it's just regular lipstick which is great i'm not a big fan of liquid lips they dry out but this lipstick is just like the nicest little kind of coppery nude All right guys, so that is the lip, the lipstick color from the ColourPop collaboration and it's literally called Ariel. It's a beautiful little nude and it doesn't look completely insane on me, which I'm 100% for. Not like my eyeshadow, that looks crazy and I love it. Okay, and then we will do the lip gloss color which is called Guppy. Oh, okay, and it's got a really small, cute little applicator. Alright guys, and there is the Lip Gloss Guppy. It's got some shine, you can see. Um, it's one of those really kind of oily lip glosses that aren't my favorite. They feel like they slit, but it's not like showing up on my teeth or anything so that's really good um but yeah we used everything in this kit so we used the ariel Lux lipstick under the sea super shock eyeshadow which is that bright green i've got in here that metallic and then guppy the ultra lip gloss that's a little oily and then we used the elf cosmetics ariel collaboration play beauty book Called treasure within that is cute and this design of Ariel is like one of my absolute favorites they put it on a ton of merchandise because it's just so pretty but yeah and here's the whole kit oh the the brush fell out and onto my floor um, but like it comes with like this little bookmark and then it shows you like how to put on your makeup which I totally ignored and just did it my own way and it comes with like bronzer and contour and then it also came with a lip color but I didn't want to use that I wanted to use this nude color which it's it's slowly growing on me um I don't wear falsies um they're just not my thing I could put on some mascara though and then um I'm fine with my eyebrows today sometimes I like draw them in and make them thicker sometimes I don't but yeah no I'm gonna keep the mascara off and then of course I have to set my face and we're going to use the Jeffree Star by Morphe um, Set and Refresh Mist with Starberry Scent. Perfect. And that'll lock it in so I can get chased down by the villagers because I look like a monster. Anyway, so this is my completed look and I don't hate it, especially for me not being like a makeup channel at all. I really like this. I need some beauty lighting though, cause like you guys, I want, I wish you could see like how insane this looks in real life. Um, but it's picking up on camera like okay. And I like that. And it made my eyes like crazy blue. I love that. My eyes look so awesome and big. Um, yeah, so that's it guys. Thank you very much. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I think today's uh, question of the day will be, who is your favorite beauty guru YouTuber? Uh, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. And all right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.